If you don't know by now, then Disciple is a name that you better get used to. Yeah. If you a whack rapper, then I'm probably... Yeah, I already know who it is. It's the king of the Grey Mile, sergeant of the motherfucking goon squad, your man Disciple. Mob Towns, King Mob Towns, finding straight up to the murder mitten, y'all already know. Who the fuck are you? Actually, man, I've been doing this shit since I was a little kid. You know, when I was here 12 years old, I was already playing multiple instruments. I play 17 of them right now. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I started off with just doing music, you know, production, and some songwriting and all that shit. And actually, after I started doing that, I was trying to, like, uh, produce other people, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you may do a track and you want somebody to come a certain way on the track. So I went. I was like, all right, I need you to come like this, you know, and I, I spit something, just some bullshit I had wrote, and they like, oh, you've been holding out, we need you to get behind this mic. So that kind of just happened, I was think I was like 14, 15 at that point in time, you know what I'm saying? And um, that was before the time I started fucking people up standing behind my back and shit. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, I've been doing that, and you know, it's just been rolling. I, I, I started grinding, I, I did a couple shows, I was opening up, you know, Goody Mob. Uh, they had DJ Taz back in the day, Mary J. Blige, you know, um, Outkast. You know, they were just coming out. You know, we did the show down at Alcos Cola, Ghetto Mafia, you know what I'm saying? Smoke good, drink good, <laughs> you know, and then uh, we kept moving from city to city. I, uh, and then I went into the military and I made a lot of connections. And my last duty station was um, in Suffrage, you know, Battle Creek, which is right outside of Detroit. And I ran into a fellow Marine. You know, Arthur Matthews, he introduced me to a lot of people, you know, from the D12 camp. Uh, the Nate Great Proof introduced me to Trick Trick, you know what I'm saying, and here I am. I released any CDs. Um, I, re I released some semen. Um, <laughs> no, <it's bad. laughs> um, a lot of stuff that I've done. Um, either from ghost writing or, or ghost production. Uh, the CDs, you know, that was like compilations because I, I was started off in Mobile and just did stuff with the New Worlds and New Worlds Greatest Hits, uh, the compilation and Mob Town. Then you had the Mob Town uh, mixtapes and shit. So a lot of stuff I've been doing has been a lot of mixtapes and I got a couple of them on that Piff right now. You know, and then I did the joint with, uh, with Freeway from Rockefeller, you know, and that's been getting a lot of a lot of love and a lot of play, man. Y'all keep doing that shit, I love it. Shout out to my man Freeway. You know what I'm saying? Rockefeller, what up? G Unit. You know, so um, just been doing that and just been grinding. So my first real major release is probably gonna be, you know, my man Trick Trick. Trick you know, but one more thing I think about this video. It's fucked up. Yeah. That I had to get killed in the fucking video. Set up by my brother knock the fuck out by Uncle Trick. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. I just had to get that off my chest real quick. Fucked up. Good TV. <laughs> so, you know, that's the part that made the video great, you know, because I wanna kill the little motherfucker in real life because he's my brother. Especially yesterday. But if he wasn't, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I had to get this little motherfucker off. You know what I'm saying? Flat out. This little motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Y'all always fuck my shit up. Let me tell you something about this. Come here, come here, come here. Let me tell you what this one is. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell you, like, everybody has, like, their big brother or whatnot. I, not, my little brother, I was trying to show him out of box. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be no little pussy or whatnot. We got, I got this dude, like, some uh, some boxing gloves. I'm teaching him how to punch. This motherfucker is, like, just rocking around. Bam, bam, just punching everything. Bam, 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 bam. Like, you fucking bam, bam for Flintstone or some shit. And he won't stop. You know, you have a little kid, you tell him, you know, okay, that's enough. When this motherfucker understand every word is up enough. Yeah, him. I go to sleep, and I know it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And he found his gloves. I'm sleep, you know. And he walks up, he's like, Pah! you know, he hits, he knocks the fuck out of me. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this a minute, you did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he knocks the exactly. living shit out of me to the point where, you know, you see that light, you know what I'm saying? I just saw this bitch just pink, like, you know, and I wake up, and he's standing there with his gloves, you know, so I, I grab it, I grab him so quick, like it's a reflex, you, you know you can't hurt your little brother, you mother... 
Yeah. Sit your ass down. <laughs> you know, I wanted to beat his ass so bad. So it was great killing this little fuckhead today. Thank you, Mitch White. Uh, everybody know me, know I ride for my brother. You know what I'm saying? I, matter of fact, you know, I think anybody, you know, that, uh, that ever met me, they'll never say that I don't love my brother. Like, we don't even leave the room without, you know, I love you. You call it gay, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But, um, we ain't like kissing, this, though. We don't do that. We don't do that kissing. We don't do that baby shit. That Wayne <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? That's y'all shit. You know, that's what y'all do. We ain't no diss, but that's what y'all do. We don't do that shit around here. But we, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't leave the room without telling them the reason being, you know, I, I went to Iraq. You hear a lot of people say, well, let these motherfucking people that's talking about like, banging and all that shit, send them to war. And they'll be scared. Motherfucker, I went to Iraq three times. Came back from two suicide missions. Fuck you. I served my country or whatnot. We're going to get back to that later. Like, I came back here or whatnot, but you see a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? And you know a person that you care about, you know what I'm saying, can be gone like that. And I don't want to ever have... It in my mind, you know, if we ever get separated, that if somebody I give a fuck about didn't know I gave a fuck about because I'm trying to act hard. Me and my brother, we all the fuck enough to fuck you up. Next question. Oh, uh, Mitch is, man, Mitch is the shit, man. You know, I'll tell you something. Mitch, Mitch is thorough as shit, you know. I don't mind Mitch will call me at fucking 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning with a fucking idea to do. You know, we had a lot of obstacles and shit. Uh, we had fucking cars getting wrecked, you know, trying to get to a location. We had asshole cops being bitches and shit, holding people up. We had a whole bunch of shit going on to keep us from doing what we had to do. But... You know, we was always on our toes. We had fucking bad weather. We had lights, you know, power being cut from a particular location. We overcame a lot of shit with this one video, and not one time did Mitch stress out. Not one time did he even flinch, you know what I'm saying? It was okay. That's fucked up, so where do we go from here? He ain't spazzed out or nothing. That's what I like to see, you know, because that's the same way we are. You know, you get an obstacle, you overcome it, and that shit's fucking over with. So, yeah, I fucks with Mitch hard. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't punk out of shit. He's not a pussy. So, definitely, I fuck with him. Mitch is, um, like I said, the dude is fucking hard work. He doesn't, um, he doesn't flinch on shit. You know what I'm saying? And he makes sure he gets it done. And he's quick as shit. So, um, yeah, definitely, I will be working with him. Definitely. Probably for most of my shit. You got that on tape. Most of my shit will be Mitch Watt.